morning to all the teachers and everyone who has joined the session to call for this open house discussion on the circles of influence this session will be hosted by dr shauri kutappa academic manager and counselor directorate of admissions and academic outreach amrita vishwavidya peetam i welcome you sir and lovely um, good morning everyone good morning uh, really nice to be here with all of you uh as um, indicated earlier uh, we have, we wanted we're going to have a small discussion on circles of influence yeah is my uh, screen visible to everyone uh i assume the screen is visible yeah so uh, the discussion today hello yes screen visible absolutely yes, sir. sir please go ahead thank you lovely lovely thank you thank you so much so um <clears throat> the discussion today is around circles of influence this is a small concept which is taken out of um, is a leaf out of a book of um, mr steven covey he talks about seven habits of um, highly effective people and uh, this is one of those habits yeah and um, <clears throat> the reason we are looking at it today is uh, i believe this uh, this habit converted into a tool that is the circle of influence tool the concept and its tool uh, kind of becomes very relevant for us in our lives today and it has a lot of um, you know uses and implications let's have a look at it yeah so uh, <clears throat> things we have heard about um, influence and control and you know uh, basically things us versus our environment some quotes some thoughts some points that we have heard around you know for instance there's a thought which says that focus we should focus on what we can control and not waste energy on the things that we cannot there is another thought which says that the task is not to control the wind but to direct the movements of the ship so that it stays on course again indicating that we do not have control over the wind but we can exert control over the movement of the ship yeah there is a popular uh, four lines that goes around as the serenity prayer yeah in areas which says that uh, you know grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change the courage to change things that i can and the wisdom to know the difference there several such thoughts on you know control if i may look at it but um, you know putting it in a small uh, uh, you know pie chart kind of a diagram there are things in the world that matter and there are things in the world that we can control the intersection of these things is where our you know focus gently gives us most value yeah there is a stimulus and a response cycle which we are all very famous with uh, i'm just now setting the background to come into my you know uh, circle of influence but before that one i thought we will we just had a small discussion on things that we can control and things that we can't control anything and the second uh, aspect second aspect which connects to the background is you know everything anything that happens around our space in our environment there is a stimulus there is something that happens and there is a response to it for instance you know you walk past a garbage can the stimulus is a bad smell our response is probably maybe you know to cover our nose or you know go away give it some distance etc so there are several such reactions there is a you see a red light your response is you stop your vehicle somebody is uh, your child is crying your response is to you know try to approach the child figure out why he or she is crying so therefore different stimulus in the environment generates a particular kind of response from us now <clears throat> the the idea or the uh, challenge or you know the the concept that we are going to be looking at today tries to see the gap you know that tries to identify the moments or the few moments that pass between stimulus and our response 
they say there is a small space a small moments gap a small you know pause where after a stimulus we try we try the the space that you know gives us time to figure out how to respond to the stimulus so our response is what you know sort of brings our growth and freedom and that, that is the space that we are trying to discuss today yeah so this is the space which we believe that we have maximum control in so therefore then the the cycle is there is a stimulus then in between there is a small space which we'll call our freedom to choose a response and then there is a response yeah so this our freedom to choose a response then comes from a lot of constructs a lot of different psychological constructs come into play here some of them are on your screen self awareness you know the degree of self awareness that i have my own imagination my own conscience my independent will and a couple of other such behavioral constructs come into play when we are looking at this gap that is that spot where we are talking about where we you know have the freedom to choose our response so there is a proactive versus a reactive response again when you're looking at i'm just taking a step back when we are looking at our freedom to choose a response there can be a response which is proactive there can be a response which is reactive yeah what's what does it look like here on your screen is an example of a proactive and a reactive approach that maybe an organization can take to you know handle its it issue handle a particular it issue so <laughs> a proactive approach begins with uh, maybe a, a sort of a remote monitoring management tool which you know controls the it network this rmm conducts a a survey or conducts a regular uh, check and then it detects a potential issue and thereafter you know you start seeing how to address this potential issue and so on whereas a reactive approach could be that you know an it issue is detected it starts from there and then you contact, contact your solutions provider you look at how to solve it etc and there's there is a an approach to it so therefore just to give you an idea a proactive approach is where we you know sort of uh, uh, get into it we do an audit we try to identify uh, ourselves a reactive approach is when actually when the issue occurs we then take necessary steps you know to address the issue same thing in our lives as well you know there is a reactive kind of a language or a reactive way of looking at things and there is a proactive way of looking at things some of these examples are on your screen right now yeah for instance um there is nothing i can do a, a reactive language whereas a proactive language could be let's look at other alternatives uh you know i have to do that versus i will choose an appropriate response or that's just the way i am versus i can choose a different approach so on and so forth so they are just you know the just to give you a view of what proactive and reactive could look at like when it comes to the self perspective yeah so uh, here's then therefore i thought we'll before we um, you know take a move on to the next step i'm going to share a small self awareness in instrument with you uh you on the on the left side of the screen is a smaller version of the instrument on the right side i have just magnified it and i put it on two screens like this so that you can read it yeah i'm going to leave this on your screen so that all of us can you know try to see from our perspective assuming if we are leaders in in particular situations in our lives how would we rate ourselves in different you know situations that we come across in our lives so you can pick one of the ratings like one the ratings are there from 1 to 10 a 1 to 5 is indicates that you are on the reactive side a 6 to 10 would indicate that you are on the proactive side so i'm just going to leave this on your screen to help us do a small self assessment i invite you to just read the statements and see which where you exactly 
you know stand or where you lie in the gap between 1 to 10 for each of these statements please go ahead have a look read the statements so for instance i would like you to you know put yourselves in these uh, statements or in these situations that are there. For instance, is tell oriented or is coaching oriented would mean am I tell oriented or am I sort of coaching oriented generally in, in, in my approach. So if you are coaching oriented and you feel you're, you know, uh, extremely coaching oriented, you could say you're a nine or a 10. If you're coaching oriented and you said that and you feel that, no, you're just at the surface level then you could probably say six or seven similarly if you're a tell oriented person if you're highly tell oriented you can say five if you're tell oriented the surface level but usually take a step back you can say one or two so like that Okay, I'm going to move to the next slide so that you have the bottom half of the statements on your screen. about that So this is a small tool which I felt that, you know, will help us gain, help us uh, in our self-awareness, sort of help us in identifying where we stand uh, or, or just give us a dipstick. It's a, it's a, it's a free source instrument. It's available online. If you, if you're looking, if you're searching for, you know, a proactive versus reactive leader, self-assessment kind of a search, you'll find uh, the same instrument or similar instruments as well. Yeah. So uh, moving forward, then as I'm, I'm assuming that you've all had a chance to read through statements and sort of, you know, get or identify where we stand, sort of give ourselves a sort of a direction where we stand moving forward. Uh, the three circles then. <clears throat> yeah, so as we approach the meat of where we are, uh, <clears throat> the, the, the three circles concept uh, says that, uh, you know, the influence model or the control model is made up of three such circles. Yeah, it helps us understand the elements, situations and events that are happening in our environment. Yeah. So the three circles as depicted on your screen, the bigger circle is a circle of concern, which talks about everything in our environment that we are concerned about, of which the second circle is a circle of influence. The, these are things in our environment, in our circle of concern, over which we have some degree of influence. And then finally is the circle of control, where out of the circle of concern and the circle of influence, there are some items which we have complete control over. You can even look at it in the reverse order, 
where the circle of control is where you have things that you have total control over circle of influence is where you have influence over and then circle of concern is you have very little or no influence over yeah so the idea is to help us direct our energy in such a way that we focus on things that we actually have control on and we sort of you know reduce our focus on things that we may not have that much control on so how do we plot these circles then how does it work how do we do it for ourselves yeah see the there is there is this universe of things you know if you look at it there are a lot of things in the universe which are currently active currently at play there's war in ukraine there is you know uh, weather is causing havoc in some other parts of the globe uh, the political uh, situation the other such things you know what's happening in india across so many things fuel prices etc etc there's so many things in our universe of things yeah of the universe of things the, uh, there are certain things that we are concerned about certain things that we may not be concerned about at the moment for instance students who are probably writing their exams this month are not really going to be concerned about the war in the ukraine presently yeah similarly if um, uh, for uh, principals or education institutions who are conducting exams also their you know circle of concern revolves around a different set of things now out of these or once we have identified the things that concern us the next step is to make a, a smaller circle a smaller subset of these things that out of which the things that we have some degree of influence over yeah so there are other things which are happening in our lives or about which we are concerned but we may not have any influence we are concerned about the rise in fuel prices but we may or may not have direct influence over it but what are the things that we can influence therefore if there is a hike in fuel prices i can look at alternative modes of transportation i can look at alternative modes of you know moving around so on and so forth so these are things that i have influence over moving forward then there are things that we can control again out of the things that we have influence over there will be some things we, which we can control fully there will be some things we can just influence for instance uh, if if there is a rise in petrol prices and i and i i can influence that my family start using bicycles yeah but what i can control is whether i use a bicycle or not i may not be able to control whether you know my son or my wife or other members of my family actually use a bicycle i can influence i can i can probably educate them on the benefits of uh, using a bicycle i can probably you know talk to them about those things i can exert some amount of influence but i may not have total control over that whereas the fact whether i use a bicycle or not assuming i have a bicycle at home i have more degree of control over this so this is how the three circles work in in our lives or in our context yeah an example of you know circle of concern circle of influence circle of control for instance things that are in my control my words my outfit you know what i what i choose to wear for this seminar today my posture my location my mood tone etc these are some things that are in my control circle of influence may include my relationships with different people in my you know environment my family close surroundings whether i decide to vote or not uh, or uh, the uh, if i can influence my if i can influence my friends to vote for a particular cause or a particular party or a particular issue uh, the mood general mood in a room the mood in the neighborhood etc these are some things that i can exert influence on 
at the same time, some things that I might be concerned about, but I may have very minimal influence, maybe, uh, I don't know, threat of a nuclear war, volcano eruption, weather, economy, political views, you know, foreign policies, our country's foreign policies, etc. So these are some things which I am concerned about because it indirectly or directly impacts my life, but I may not have any direct influence on. Yeah. Here's another example of a, a circle of concern, circle of influence, circle of control. Yeah. Some things like my words, my actions, my work ethics, etc., fall into my circle of control. Some things like other people's actions, other people's thoughts, my commitments, sometimes maybe I can only influence them unless other people also join in it. Who follows me on social media, my children's future, where I work. Sometimes these things are become areas where I can only influence and I may not have direct control on. Other things that come in your uh, in our circle of concern, yeah? traffic, you know, a sports match, media, strange comments on social media, if public transport is on time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's several other things which are in my circle of concern, but I may not have influence or uh, control over. So therefore, what is the connect? What is how does proactivity and the circles of influence, all this, all the things that we have seen now, how do they all come together? Yeah. Uh, this is how the 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 concept actually fits in our lives. <laughs> People with a reactive focus uh, tend to reduce the size of their inner circle. People with a proactive focus tend to try to increase the size of their inner circles. So therefore, if you're looking at circle of concern versus circle of influence, a reactive approach, people with a reactive focus, etc., will always find reasons, justifications to try to reduce the size of their circle of influence and increase the size of the circle of concern. Similarly, a person with a proactive focus, people with a proactive approach are always trying to look at ways of increasing their circle of influence versus their circle of concern. Same thing applies in when you're looking at circle of influence versus circle of control also. So a reactive focus is where we look at reasons, justifications in our lives, where we try to reduce the size of the inner circle, try to put more things in the outer circle. Whereas a proactive approach is how we try to bring more things into our inner circle and you know reduce the size of or the content of the outer circles so how does this actually work i'm just, you know i thought we'll look at it with an example for instance uh, something like the economic recession for instance is in my circle of concern so how do i move it into my circle of influence i probably do something like saving up you know for 6 months of emergency funds now I'm moving something like an economic recession into my circle of influence. Another example, traffic jam is in my circle of concern. So how do I you know, move it into my circle of influence? I probably listen to a podcast that I've been always you know, trying to make time for. Uh, other people's behavior is something which is in my circle of concern. How do I move it into my circle of influence? Surround myself with you know, the kind of people whose behaviors I sort of connect with, so surround myself with winners. So these are some examples of how things can be moved from your outer circle to your inner circle. And these are also some examples where the reverse also applies, where instead of me wanting to save up for six months, I sit down and just keep blaming the economic recession for my financial situation. So then when I do that, I'm actually moving things from my circle of influence to the outer circle. And I'm trying to reduce the size of my inner circle. Thereby, I break, I'm, that is a proactive approach. So this is an example just to explain how the proactivity and the circles actually come into play or inter, they, they are interplay in our daily lives. Yeah. I thought I'll share a small tool then to help us 
to you know sort of put things in perspective bring the elements that we can control together look at elements we can't control but influence and then sort of accept the elements that we can neither control or influence but are still in our outer circle or the circle of con concern yeah so <clears throat> circle of influence then many of us have worries problems in life sometimes these can become overwhelming yeah when this happens it's useful to look at the circle of influence and separate our worries into these three areas worries issues that i can control that i can influence and that i can that i can neither control or influence so the idea is to make a list of all worries problems etc and sort of plot them into these respective circles once we have done that we can take that same approach the the example that i showed you a little earlier we can take the same approach on how to move things you know from this circle to that circle we will need to continuously question ourselves question ourselves on what are the things in our circles what are they why and how these things are in that circle that we put it in for example if you're looking at the circle of control what are they why and how are these in your controls sometimes the same things can be put inside and outside of our control next have a look at the circle of influence find out why these things are here and what is out of our influence and why yeah one one method is to continuously ask what else you can do about that particular situation for instance if you look at the example that we had there is an economic recession what else can i do about it what can i do about it what else can i do about it is there anything else what else what else you can probably come up with ideas you know maybe i can save up maybe i can you know reduce my uh, uh, i can sell some of the items that i have you know before the economic recession actually sets in because once the recession sets in you can't expect people to be buying things from you so on and so forth so you again you know keep looking at uh, these things lastly your outer circle circle of concern it is always a good idea to try to accept things that we cannot influence or control yeah it is a very important part or a very important benefit that you can get out of this tool is you identify things that are you get a clear demarcation of things that are out of your circle of influence or your circle of control so these are things then which are yes part of your concern but you then accept that these are things you can't do anything about yeah so therefore that's how this comes into play so uh, i thought i'll uh, before i close i thought i'd like to you know uh, i wanted to spend a little time taking questions if there are any and before i close i i would like to share a video maybe this will lend us a perspective let me see if i can quickly locate this video that i wanted to uh, share in the meantime if there are any questions anyone anyone who wishes to raise a question any thoughts any comments i'm more than happy to uh, take on questions on what we were talking about does it make sense is this is this a tool that's useful for us you think we can you know uh you think it 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 are actually make sense for us any questions any thoughts i'm more than happy to take them on well if anyone has any questions you can please raise your hand so that uh, sir could answer it for you
Well, sir, thank you so much. I, I, I think it was indeed a powerful discussion that we had today. And I hope everyone has gained something from this discussion. So, um, yes, if anybody has any questions, so is there to answer the questions to you. Okay, here's a small, uh, here's a small video clip, which uh, I sort of felt connects to the discussion that we're having. This is a small video clip taken from a Hindi movie called Pyar Ka Panchnama. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me first share my screen and I'll, and I'll play this. Sorry. How does this share screen? The whole screen share and this is let me know if the audio is coming through. Uh, no, sir, uh, not the audio. You have to select the share or sound also. Sharing. Hello? Hello? Yes, please. The audio is coming through? No, no, the audio is not coming. You have mm -hmm. to share screen and click the share sound on the share screen. First. Okay, okay. Uh, Stop so... sharing first. Stop sharing, okay. Click the share screen. Hold on. Share screen. Okay. Now you can thus uh, select the option. Share system audio. Oh. Share system yeah. audio. Yeah. Just share yeah. sound, sir. What are you doing with Neha? What? What happened? Oh, I did it. What did you say? You didn't talk about it and all that. What? प्रॉब्लम क्या है प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम ये है कि वो लड़की है और क्या प्रॉब्लम है प्रॉब्लम ये है कि मैं चाहता हूं मेरी लाइफ में कोई प्रॉब्लम ही ना हो लेकिन अगर मेरी लाइफ में कोई प्रॉब्लम ना हो ना तो ये उसकी लाइफ की सबसे बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है एंड बुलशिट शी इज वरीड यार उसे तो सेलिब्रेट करना चाहिए बिकॉज़ इज इन दिस एग्जैक्टली व्हाट शी वांट्स सीरियसली यार आजकल तो जब वो मुंह खोलती मन करता मुंह में कुछ सुनतू प्लस में यार 6 महीने में आई हैड इट ऑल सब देख लिया मैंने अबे कौन सा प्यार कैसी रिलेशनशिप काय की खुशियां रिलेशनशिप का मतलब ही होता है एन इनटू योर ओन हैप्पीनेस इसके बाद ऑल यू गॉट टू वरी अबाउट इज उसकी खुशियां उसका बर्थडे उसके कुत्ते का बर्थडे उसका न्यू ईयर जो कभी तुम्हारा भी न्यू ईयर था इन लड़की को ना कोई खुश नहीं रख सकता अ हैप्पी वुमन इज अ मिथ तू बैटमैन वाली को देख ले सदा जब तक बैटमैन नहीं बना तब तक बोलती रही तुम तो कुछ करते नहीं हो ना कारा हो ना पुंसक हो मैं तुम जैसे इंसान के साथ कैसे रह सकती हूँ जिस दिन बेचारा बैटमैन बन गया उस दिन बोली तुम तो बैटमैन बन गए अरे मुझे तो एक नॉर्मल इंसान चाहिए था मैं तुम्हारे साथ कैसे रह सकती हूँ सब साल ना कहानियों का दोष है लड़की बॉलीवुड रोमांटिक मसाला एक लड़का एक लड़की दोनों को प्यार हुआ दोनों साथ साथ फिल्म खत्म इसके बाद की स्टोरी कोई नहीं बताता इसके बाद की कहानी मैं बताता हूँ इसके बाद लड़के ने लड़की को दो दिन हक नहीं किया तो प्रॉब्लम हक किया तो चेप हो रहे हो इतना भी अच्छा नहीं लगता सली शॉपिंग खत्म नहीं होती इनकी पहले कुशन जाए फिर कटिंग जाए फिर कुशन कटिंग से मैच नहीं किया तो और कुशन जाए साले मग इतने हैं मेरे यहाँ कि उन्हें बेचने जाऊं तो महीने का खर्चा निकला है एक तो जो चीज खरीदने जाएंगे वो चीज खरीद के नहीं आएंगी दो हफ्ते दिमाग चाटेंगे टेबल लेना है टेबल लेना है पांच घंटे मॉल में बिता के एक सड़ी से चप्पल उठा के लेंगे और फिर अगले दो हफ्ते दिमाग चाटेंगे टेबल लेना है टेबल लेना है ऑफिस में काम कर रहा हूँ फोन आ जाएगा फोन उठाते ही बोल देता हूँ बात नहीं कर सकता कितना मुश्किल है बात समझना दो मिनट कर लोगे तो क्या हो जाएगा अरे दो मिनट कर लूंगा तो तुझे क्या मिल जाएगा मेरी माँ ठीक से तो कर पाऊंगा नहीं और इसके बाद आई लव यू बोले बिना फोन काटा तो नाटक सबसे ज्यादा दिमाग की दही इस मोबाइल फोन ने की घटिया मंजर है साली कौन से पट्टा है पट्टा साला पट्टा एक तो उनके एड भी देखो ना लो जी एक पैसे पर सेकंड और फोन करो और फोन करो अरे कॉल सस्ती हो जाने से बात थोड़ी ना बढ़ जाती करने को फिर इसका जवाब उन्हें भी दो तुम्हारे पास बात क्यों नहीं करने को यू लॉस्ट इंटरेस्ट इन मी तुम्हें हूं हूं ही करना था तो मैंने तुम्हें फोन क्यों किया अरे मेरी माँ मुझे क्या पता तूने मुझे फोन क्यों किया जाके भारती में चल से पूछना तुझे मैं बता रहा हूं उस एड में ना वो कुत्ता नहीं कुत्तिया है सीरियसली शर्त लगा सकता हूं मेरे वर यू गो वी फॉलो तुझे क्या लगता है कुलम उसको पता नहीं था कि वो इंडिया नहीं जा रहा गलती से पहुंच गया नहीं उसको पता था वो बेचारा तो कहीं दूर जाना चाहता था बीवी के चक्कर में बोलना पड़ा इंडिया जा रहा हूं नहीं तो दस सवाल पूछती कहा जा रहे हो क्यों जा रहे हो अच्छा तुम्हें पता भी नहीं कहा जा रहे हो सीधे सीधे क्यों नहीं बोलते मुझसे कहीं दूर जाना चाहते हो आज तक बेचारे का मजाक उड़ाती है दुनिया ऑफिस में काम कर रहा हूं एसएमएस आ जाएगा आई लव यू ठीक है मैं भी एसएमएस कर देता हूं आई लव यू टू इसके बाद एसएमएस पे एसएमएस शुरू अबे काम क्या करती है ऑफिस में दो एसएमएस का रिप्लाई मत करना तुरंत फोन आएगा फोन मत उठा तो 10 मिनट में मैसेज आ चुका होगा आई डोंट थिंक इट्स वर्किंग एनीमोर 10 मिनट में बाबू आई लव यू से आई डोंट थिंक इट्स वर्किंग एनीमोर एंड दिस इज व्हेन दे आर नॉट इवन डाउन अब पता चला ये आदमियों को इतने हार्ट अटैक क्यों आते हैं और ये 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 बंदे इतने सक्सेसफुल क्यों होते हैं? बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव अ वुमन टू स्क्रू देयर हैप्पीनेस ना लोग कहते हैं ना कि बिहाइंड एवरी सक्सेसफुल मैन दे इज अ वुमन ट्रू 
बट कोई ये नहीं बताता कि बिहाइंड एवरी अनसक्सेसफुल मैन ऑल्सो इज अ वुमन और ये तो कोई भी बता सकता है ना कि अनसक्सेसफुल लोगों की तादाद सक्सेसफुल लोगों से कई गुना ज्यादा इस दुनिया में चलो ऑफिस में काम कर रहा हूँ कह रहा हूँ लेट हो जाऊंगा तो खाना नहीं खाएगी फिर भूखी सो जाएगी अरे मैं कह रहा हूँ खा लो तो दिक्कत क्या करूँ नौकरी छोड़ दू फिर साले घर जाओ पहले इन्हें मनाओ इन्हें खिलाओ इनके बाद खुद की भूख तो वैसी मर जाती है इस सबके बाद भी अगर इंसान किसी तरह कोने में जाके शांति से बैठा हुआ है ना चुपचाप तो क्या घड़ी घड़ी क्या सोच रहे हो क्या सोच रहे हो क्या सोच रहे हो अरे कुछ नहीं सोच रहा मेरी माँ ये सोच रहा हूँ तेरा मुंह कैसे बंद करूँ क्या सोच रहे हो कैमरा लगा दू दिमाग में इस सब के बाद वी नेवर टॉक वी नीड टू टॉक आई डोंक इट्स वर्किंग एनी मोर मैं तुझे बता रहा हूँ यू कैन नॉट डिस्कस एनीथिंग विद अ वुमन बिकॉज दे कॉल इट अ डिस्कशन बट एनी डिस्कशन विद अ वुमन इज एन आर्ग्यूमेंट और आर्ग्यूमेंट में तो तू बॉस उनसे जीत ही नहीं सकता बिकॉज हम आदमियों की एक बेसिक नीड होती है टू मेक सेंस इन एन आर्ग्यूमेंट लड़कियों को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता सेंस इसी विकास चीज की वजह से वो आर्ग्यूमेंट कैसे हार जाए एक तो आज की बात पे आर्ग्यूमेंट आज होगा ही नहीं आज की बात पे झगड़ा होगा दो महीने बाद यहाँ साला याद भी नहीं होता है दो महीने पहले हुआ क्या था लड़कियां बचा के रखती है ये छोटा हथियार नहीं ये बड़ा हथियार है इसे बड़ी लड़ाई में यूज करेंगे अरे तू कभी ट्राई कर लियो खुद को सही साबित करने की तुझे लग ही रहा होगा कि इस पॉइंट से तो अपनी बात को साबित कर लेगा लेकिन तभी एक आवाज आएगी उंगली नीचे कर तूने ध्यान भी नहीं दिया होगा लेकिन तेरी एक नादान सी उंगली उनकी तरफ पॉइंट करी होगी सडनली द होल आर्ग्यूमेंट विल फ्लश डाउन दी गटर और मुद्दा ये रह जाएगा हाउ डेर यू पॉइंट ऑफ फिंगर एट मी किसने बनाया रूल किसने चला वो वो बीच आर्ग्यूमेंट में तुम्हें जूता फेंक के मार दे तो कोई दिक्कत नहीं लेकिन तुम उनकी तरफ एक उंगली पॉइंट कर दो सारा मुद्दा खत्म वो सही तुम गलत शादी के पहले शादी के पहले वो नागिन मीन क्यों बचता है क्यों बचता है क्योंकि ना बैंड वाला भी तुम्हें चेतावनी दे रहा होता है कौन आ रहा है तुम्हारी जिंदगी में इनका सिग्नेचर ट्यून है वो अब ये बता वो क्या करने आई थी तेरे पास यहाँ सेम चीज मैं करूं तो उसके किसी फ्रेंड को कॉल करके अपनी प्रॉब्लम्स गिनाऊ तो कहेगी अच्छा तुमने मेरी फ्रेंड को कॉल किया <laughs> तुम तुम उनकी सिंपति गेन करना चाहते हो वाई डोंट यू गो एन सिम इधर इट्स रिडिकल सर वो उंगली वाला मेरे साथ भी हुआ Well, um, I thought uh, this is one uh, much talked about scene of uh, Mr. Karthik Aryan, which has got him a lot of popularity. Kind of highlight, kind of highlights, uh, you know, the three circles in our lives, uh, very graphically. Any thoughts? Any questions? If anyone has, I'm more than happy to address them. I'd intentionally kept about fifteen minutes so that we take questions. um right, sir sir yes, thank please. you so much for this um, session i'm sure um, everyone must have gained something from this discussion so that's great i have um, a question from dr sushma with us here uh, the question is proactive is always a planned process but at times mm-hmm. reactive is always sudden a bit confusion should we increase the circle of influence or decrease uh ma'am thank you so much thank you so much for the question uh, uh, the the idea of um, actually getting people uh, uh, thinking on these lines is 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 very nice see there are uh, i want to separate this from the uh, from another aspect about um, time management where we actually schedule the work that we have uh, if for example i have a meeting or if for a, when or if for example i have this uh, seminar to take on 15th uh, i can sit down on you know on uh, maybe 10th and plan what sort of uh, discussions i'll have what sort of um, triggers i'll probably show i'll probably show this video here and then you know so when i'm doing that that is not necessarily the proactive part that i was discussing on that is something that i'm actually scheduling that is something that i'm planning pre uh, pre event etc so that goes into my you know that goes into a different aspect altogether the part that we are discussing the part that we are trying to catch on to or the part that we are discussing is those <clears throat> instant responses that come out to certain stimulus in you know in our lives for instance um, uh someone could you know uh, like if you have seen the video uh, a, a a message coming from your spouse suddenly yeah one response is you can you know you can choose to neglect other responses you can probably so there are different kinds of ways where people handle such situations yeah 
so the idea is about things which we cannot necessarily schedule or we cannot necessarily plan in advance yeah how do we choose our responses to that these things these things to a trained mind usually happens in a jiffy in a second for instance if there is a principal who has who has a parent in front of him or her and the parent has certain concerns uh, oh, the principal can always dig out how he or she has handled the situation from past experience and can immediately respond so that also in, in a form is you know the freedom that the principal is exercising and then gets into it so this is the aspect that we are actually trying to discuss on uh therefore when you say how do you increase or decrease your circle i am going to um go back to a, a point that we were discussing here mm. a very very a very very nice question see uh, now that you understood that we need to increase the size of the inner circle and reduce you know and reduce the size of the outer circle here is an example that i was trying to share on how we can take things from the outer circle and modify it or turn it around in such a way that it then comes into my inner circle yeah these are three four couple of examples that i had uh, tried to you know use to indicate the same of course these are very individual specific and life specific aspects so things that are relevant in my life may not actually be relevant in your life or in somebody else's life so these are things which each one of us has to do individually you know we have to sit down make our own lists and then plot them like this but the idea of moving things from inner circle or outer circle is kind of explained here or at least through this example where for instance if you are looking at uh, the presidential uh election outcome yeah i may not be able to control the election outcome but what i can do is i can actually get up and show up and vote on election day i can influence maybe my neighbors my relatives people in my zone to actually stand up and vote but i but sitting and worrying about whether my candidate will become the president is utopian yeah it it, it is not uh, it it is not going to so the uh, logic is to free up my mental bandwidth on the worry about <laughs> who's actually becoming the pres president and focusing my actions on showing up going to the place wherever the voting is happening voting ca casting my vote and then moving on and focusing on other productive aspects of my life so this is the this is uh, the approach once of, co of course this this is stage 2 the first stage is to sit down and list out things which are in our universe then which fall into our circle of concern which fall into the influence and then which fall into our control so the idea is once we actually plot this it gives us a it gives us a picture of what are the things we can control what are the things we can't control what are the things we can't influence and then we can slowly you know continue asking ourselves this question what else what else continuously ask yourself what else how do what are the things that i can do for this what is it that you <coughs> do to influence that particular thing what are the ways in which you can bring it under your control keep asking yourself what else what else and then you will pro probably arrive at some something like this yeah uh, does this does this actually address uh, your question partially it's not a full direct answer because uh, unless we sit down and try to use the tool in our lives we will not have a direct you know way to do it but i hope i have put you on the path thank you so much sir we have one more question up from ramya ji how to be more powerful uh, uh may i request uh, miss ramya to you know sort of uh, be a little more um a sort of powerful in the sense what could you give me a context is there a context connected with it uh if i were to assume for instance uh, how do i be more powerful in my life 
the answer is the bigger my circle of control is the more powerful i am in my life yeah the lesser space that is there in my circle of concern or in my circle of the more things from my circle of concern the more things i can move into circle of control the more powerful i become the more things i move into circle of influence the more you know the pro- more progress i make towards it so that is probably one answer if if i were to you know directly answer but if you give me a context maybe i could address it in a, in, in little more depth any 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 other any other questions any other thoughts is there any other questions um uh for sir please raise your hand um, so that uh, sir could answer those questions to you any other questions we can take up today so no questions as of now um lovely lovely if uh, if there are any questions uh, participants can always reach out to us at amrita and uh, the questions can be you know then redirected to my email uh, be more than happy to respond yeah absolutely sir thank you so much sir so i would like to thank each one of you for attending the session and making it an interesting one we will soon bring out some more impactful sessions for all of you thank you everyone for joining and have a good day thank you thank you thank you so much have a good day